This is more of a Brendan clip, but everyone does this. So big up the Friday Kids subreddit guys for uploading this one. As you can see for the title, if you don't drive, you're a soy boy, right? This clip I find interesting. This clip I find interesting because Brendan's got a couple of talking points, a couple of like arguments that he has that he's like, you know, for like, you know, so some of his little talking points. We will have him, right? Um, one of his talking points is that he's um, anti-electric cars. He's anti-Tesla and almost anti-Elon in a way. And the reason why is because he's a gearhead. He likes to drive. He likes the feeling of being in the petrol car, combustion engine, whatever, right? He's got whatever that whole thing is. And I think another part of it is to do with LA because allegedly, according to him, LA's got some rules around um, cars and the fact that they're pushing more towards electric and they want a certain percentage of the cars driven in LA to be a electric, whatever. So he's feeling like that's a personal affront as if like Gavin Newsom's going to come into his, you know, jump over his private residence, jump over his gate and then get and take away all these TRXs by force or something, whatever. Whether it's true or not, who cares? But that's one of his talking points. I say that to say, when you're someone like this, and I think we all like this in general, I think you need to have like some reasons. You need to have some arguments, some information to back up what you're saying doesn't matter if what you're saying is redacted it doesn't matter honestly it's not about being right or wrong or redacted whatever opinion you have you have to have some reasons to back it up with so if you're like anti-mask if you're like anti-covid anti-regulations if you're like anti-vape pro-cigarette whatever you are whatever your insane opinion is flat earth round earth whatever if somebody says why you should know how to answer that question because you believe in what you believe in oh no no obama's fucking evil oh, obama's was in the fucking was in Al Qaeda. Okay, why do you believe that? And then you should be able to say with some evidence, oh, I believe that because he went to this school. You should have your little talking points. Whether or not they're dumb or not, you should have them. Brendan here has zero. When, once you push him a little bit back, when you give him a bit of pushback, he doesn't really have much to say, which is shocking because I thought with these talking points, he had like a little bit of like a conservative right wing working class for the fucking regular guy type of talking point but he doesn't really have much so listen to how he gets stumped when eric pushes back on this point like eric. if you like electric do your thing yeah. it's when you force on everybody and especially in california that's when i have here an issue uh, but, but, yeah, but here's my thing what we're talking with, about, yeah. yeah but with <laughs> big up mike big up mike mills in the chat but what do i know <laughs> <laughs> what do I know? <laughs> we got Micah Hills. We got Micah Hills. All those, the, the Teslas, yeah. uh, anything. Like when driving, it's like, oh, it's self driving. Yeah. It's like, are, have we become so soft as a society? You can't even fucking drive now. No, it's now. the option, though. Like, you, you want to take. It. But you. Less death. It's that hard? That's the first pushback. Yeah, you can be against, you know, autonomous vehicles, self driving. You can be against it. It's not like they're forced, not yet anyway. They probably will, but it's not they're forcing it on you. You don't have to buy a Tesla. You don't have to buy a car that's got, you know, self-driving capabilities installed in it. You can still buy your gas gasoline car if you want to. No one's stopping you from doing that. So again, you just get stumped. No, you don't have to do it. Yeah, but... It, it's not though. It's not that it's, it's not that there yet. Hard. I know, but when it, that that's but how 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 no, but easy Brendan, do we have to get? How, get but, to. but how easy do we have to make life? Isn't that almost insulting to say when you're Brendan? How easy you have to make life? How easy was your life, motherfucker? You met Rogan. That's literally like winning the lottery. You met fucking Joe Rogan. You won the lottery. How easy? You ever. MMA podcast, a UFC podcast where you don't even know what fights are on. You don't even watch tape. You don't break down fighters or cards. You do the bare minimum and you have a pretty good show. A pretty you know, a pretty well watched show. Well, that's not a good show. Let's you know, you have a show that people pay money for you to do. They sponsor it and shit. You have a podcast where you do the bare minimum. You're on like even street because of the Rogan introduction. You're saying people have it too easy. We're dri now we gotta take well, away driving. This, this no, I, thirty I, minute drive here for me, it's self driving. I don't mind. I could be like, yeah, I, I don't mind. I'm, I'm with you, bro. Yeah.
of course Eric would like it. You know, looking at him, you know why. Oh shit, like, that's I a great been, option. Like, like, like the I like how Brendan's equating driving a car to being a man I don't and know. not wanting to drive it as being a pussy or something. You're a soy boy if you don't want to drive your car. If you don't mind jumping in a... What? <laughs> Self-driving is gay. I don't right? think I'd do it. Hey, bro, I want to be like but this. Done, yeah. I want to be like this, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be looking at a TV. Nah, you don't have, have the right car. Oh, yeah, bro. Play, you know what I'm saying? What I, I get it. I, I, let, the by, right the time, by the time our kids start to like... They probably be, they'll never drive. I predict that my kid will never drive that's a not a, That's not a good thing. Why? Yeah, why? Why? Explain it. D D you see? Now listen. He's okay to have that opinion. Driving is gay. Self driving. No. Dri self driving is gay. Real driving is like a man. Blah, blah, blah. You're all right. Have what opinion you want to have. But at least stand on some. Like, have a reason why you say that. They both asked him f two times each, four times in total. Why? 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 Here's reason to why. Driving? Yeah, yeah. My kids so you want your kids to grow up so comfortable. So he repeats the question. Doesn't have an answer, so he just repeats the question. <laughs> Doesn't like so you have nothing to say. And again, maybe I'm being naive here, but I always thought people that have these strong opinions have also, even if it's a redacted one, a strong opinion why they stand on it. This guy gets the minimum pushback. Dr self driving? You mean like not driving your car? Yes, Chris. Rizzo. My first ever dono should go to the random show. Best kept secret on YouTube. Keep up the good work. Yes, Thumbs yes. up. Big up, big up, Chris Rizzo. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. First dono gang in the building. You know, it had to go to minority. It had to go to an immigrant. It had to go to a black man. You know how it is, isn't it? Right? Minorities, immigrants, push down, downtrodden, systemic racism, blah, blah, blah. Give me things because I'm black. You know, you know how it goes. <laughs> Big old Christmas. <laughs> it's like beyond. Where well, they don't mean drive themselves. Well, so what? What else do we want to take away from? What else? If they take a pill and then they get in shape, that we want that too. You mean like Ozempic? You that you're on? <laughs> this guy's brilliant, isn't it? It's like when he breathes, he lies, and when he lies, and when he's not lying, he's not breathing. On you on Ozempic. Yo, big up at Uche. Thanks for free rep. You know, I always wondered reparations. You know, I wonder when we get re reparations. Who's going to be the cunt? Who's going to be the unashamed, unashamed, lack of scruples, lack of dignity, lack of pride, piece of shit person from england or the u or europe that's going to try to apply for american reparations if that happens across the board which piece of shit from here or europe is going to try and get reparations <laughs> someone's going to try and do it someone's going to try someone's going to try someone's going to try and link the african-american slave trade and say you know Peaky Blinders had slaves too. You know, someone's gonna do it. I don't know who, but someone's gonna do it. Maybe a color. No. That, that's easy. No. Oh, yeah, I want food. That. <laughs> so we no longer have these to. Are, you no longer have to cook your food. Get your food. It gets delivered to you. That's easy, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Driving. Now nah, we'll take that away from you. So now you, it's just gonna drive itself. So you don't have to pay attention to shit anymore. Now you can get stuff done. Like what? 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 How many more hours in the day you need? The guy that says he needs more hours in the day. The guy that says he works out too much. <sighs> Again, the benefits of self-driving cars is pretty obvious, right? People, why people would want them? Less traffic. You know, you probably have. You'd probably be able to predict and control emissions to some respect, especially if all the cars on the street are self-driving and are electric and are from a certain manufacturer, right? You could kind of get that under wraps. Um, it maybe would be more cost effective. That's what Elon's trying to do now with these robo taxis. You want to get rob you want self driving cars to be more cost effective than maybe a seasonal pass on a train or something, so that regular commuters could get them. Um, there'll be less need for parking, you'd imagine, right? Um, and of course, it'll free up your time when you're driving to do, I don't know, do other things. Maybe read a book, maybe listen to some music, whatever. 
Um, and also maybe some people just don't like having cars. I don't know. There's probably a big population of people out there who just drive their, which is kind of depressing to be fair, who just drive their car to commute. There's probably a lot of people that don't even drive their car to like just recreationally, like for fun. So if they could, if they could save that money that they'll be spending on a car repairs, all this malarkey, cool. Obviously there's loads of negatives too. Or, or if you want a self-driving society, most cars on the road will have to be electric. Having a mixture of cars be self-driving is going to be difficult. Um, you'd imagine there'd be probably less accidents, but if there are a lot of accidents, they'll be catastrophic, right? If something does go wrong, I'd imagine if it's computers, it's either it goes, it never, it never goes wrong or it goes terribly wrong in a big, big way. Um, and obviously electric cars aren't without their environmental damages as well. So there's reasons pro and for. And again, I'm a nobody. I just thought about this on the spot right now talking to you guys i don't know anything more about that i'm just spitting out of my fucking ass and this guy has this strong opinion against fucking electric cars like if you if you drive an electric car you like penises in your ass which i don't know why that is a correlation i don't know why that's a bad thing whatever this is what he thinks but then when you push him and say why don't you like this what the cars driving themselves nothing to say to do what though? To do what? Sucks. We have to, to do sleep what? for eight. I have to sleep for ten hours a day, and that sucks. Yeah, you can take a little nap. You can work on your homework. I'll sleep on in the a way car. to school. On, yeah, I get it. You know what I mean? Record a podcast. What else you can do? Record a. Do you, do you think if self-driving cars become a thing, do you not think these charlatans, these grifters, won't start doing pods from their self-driving cars? Do you think they won't start doing podcasts? Self-driving with Brian. The fighter, the kid in the car. Yeah. Beat off for a quick a little quickie before you get someplace? Sometimes a day is just like you're too horny, dude. You're yeah. too horny and you gotta <laughs> rub one out. Oh, by the way, this joke is funny because I think Chris realizes as he's saying that joke that he's almost telling on himself and he tries to be self deprecating but at that point, no one realizes. Tesla take you straight to JLB Fuggy Long. <laughs> Exactly. Imagine that. That's the hell people don't want in it. Imagine you have a warrant out for your arrest. Imagine you have a warrant out for your arrest. Imagine you have a warrant out for your arrest. Imagine you have unpaid child support. Imagine you didn't pay a parking ticket. <laughs> Imagine you didn't pay a phone bill. You're late on your rent. <laughs> and the car just locks you in and takes you. <laughs> He didn't pay your insurance. <laughs> Fifteen years old, you're getting driven to school in your little thing. Sometimes Porn is on the back. Oh, oh shit! You're forty four, and you just can't stop. It's you know, just, it's just, it's just you making people just, softer and you softer. Need a like, you don't want to drive. Honestly, and Chris is trying to have like a jokey moment about his diddling. No one's paying attention to it, and he just keeps going. And you've never driven the right you car. You know, if then. a car was no. driving you, Brendan trying to poor shame Eric Griffin. Oh, you could get a release just chilling. More fucking PDF, PDF self deprecating jokes. I get it, <laughs> but what I'm saying is, I well, I don't think that's attention. the same thing. Otherwise, you I, gotta I do, be late to work because you that, get a release that's in what bed they waiting, want. Right? That's what they want. Get a, get a release. More creepy PDF jokes from Chris. Attempt to make jokes. No one's paying attention. And then the take Democrats? a shower, and then go <laughs> Governor in your car, General. drive Governor manually, General. and get to work, and Check you're this. late. Hey, man. Check this out, though. <laughs> the, the the thing that they need to... Fucking hell, look at that person. He's dead behind the eyes, isn't it? Dead behind the eyes. Spiritually, morally bankrupt. Imagine getting caught sending, you know, messages to underage girls, and you're still on camera laughing and giggling. Fucking hell, mate. Something's definitely not right with this guy. He's definitely broken. He's gone. He's far gone. Anyways, point remains. Brendan has no explanation why he doesn't like electric cars apart from he hates Elon, he hates Teslas, and he hates Gavin Newsom. But no real actual reasons, which you have plenty for to not like self-driving and to not like... You, you could just say, I enjoy driving cars. I enjoy the feeling of driving a car. I don't want to have self-driving car. Fine, cool, enjoy he doesn't have any real legit reason apart from he thinks he's gay. So what, should I say being gay is bad? I also don't understand this correlation between electric cars and being gay. 
I've only heard it through him. Some people just don't like them because they don't have enough range. It's just a practicality thing. And they're quite heavy. They're not really that environmentally friendly as people make it seem. They've still got, you know, the same issues that they have. The interiors are a bit boring. Everything's a fucking tablet. You know, like, yeah. I understand why you don't like it. And they're quite expensive. It's like very, very expensive to run. I think someone said in the stream chat, a Tesla battery is at 12K to replace or something. Excuse me? Is that 12K to replace? Excuse me. And I'm assuming Tesla are proper, they're like Apple, it's a walled garden. You can't get that replaced, like, you know, in a fucking garage around the corner. You have to go to a legit place. If you don't, you void whatever warranty you have on that fucking car. So you have plenty of reason not to like electric cars, but him, it's just, oh, if you like electric cars, you like to suck penises. Okay. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> 